This video is part of a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community, where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. Okay, groovy. So now we have a, uh, a little simple clock. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and I think it's time for another kooky Arduino project. For this project, I think we're going to build ourselves a little uh, clock, and we're going to use this 1602 LCD display module to tell the time. By the way, if you enjoy building stuff with the Arduino platform, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon, blah, 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 blah. And for now, tally-ho! Okay, so this project is very similar to our Arduino-based fortune teller project that we did a little while back. So it's a lot of the same parts. For example, we're going to be using the 1610 LCD and our Arduino Uno and a breadboard, a couple of resistors. This is a 220 ohm resistor and this is a uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor. A set of jumper wires, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, then two tack switches and of course our laptop for programming. Now, as you can see, everything is pretty much wired in the standard configuration for a 1602 and an Arduino. Uh, the exception here is that we've added two tack switches, each connected to ground via a 10 kilo ohm resistor, one pin connected to digital pin 8, and one pin connected to digital pin 9, respectively. And you'll see why in just a moment when we look at the code. The first section of the code just includes the liquid crystal library and defines those liquid crystal pins, as we've seen in previous projects. Next, we're going to define a few variables, such as this initial time display for a 24-hour clock. So when it's powered on, it just shows midnight. Then we're going to define our button. So we'll have pin 8 as the hours setting button and pin 9 as the minute setting button. Here we can define the initial contrast setting and define a pin that will look for changes in voltage that will define the contrast on the screen. Here we're going to define the variable now as zero time from the point at which there is power applied to the Arduino. That will allow the Arduino to use its internal crystal as a timing device for this clock. Here in the setup section, we're going to start using our LCD and define it as a 16 by 2 line crystal display. Here we're going to have the Arduino read the current elapsed time from startup in milliseconds and define that as the now value. And here we just write the initial analog value of the contrast variable so that the screen is at its default setting. Now we're going to look at the loop section. Here all we're really doing is displaying the time as a set of values, so hours, minutes, and seconds, each one as a two-digit value on a 24-hour clock. Underneath that, we're going to print our little message. This while loop will wait a thousand milliseconds, or one full second, of elapsed time on the system before redefining now as the new time, one second later. And once that second is passed, then it redefines the second value as one higher than the previous value. In this section of the sketch, we're going to define and manage our overflow. So when the seconds value reaches 60, we're going to add one to the minutes value and then reset the seconds value to be zero. Same thing with minutes. Once we get to 60, we're going to add one to the hours value and then reset the minutes value as zero. In the hours section, once we get to 25, we have to reset hours to zero. In this section, we're going to look at how we set the time. Button one is gonna be our hours button. And when we hold that down, it will increase the hour value by one every second while resetting seconds to zero. If we hold button two down, then that advances the minutes by one and then resets the seconds to zero. Now let's program the board and see what we get. All right, and there is our little clock. It just starts at midnight and it starts counting up from there. We can adjust the contrast here with the uh, potentiometer and we can set the time with our buttons. Okay, groovy. Now we have ourselves a simple little Arduino clock. 
The problem is that, of course, once we cut power to it and plug it back in, like everything else, it resets itself. So to prevent that, we're gonna have to build ourselves a battery backed up real-time clock module. And I'll be doing that in a future video. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that. Connect with me on social media and check out Projects in Progress. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. If you wanna learn more about the Arduino platform, check out the playlist down here. And the show notes for this episode are gonna be somewhere right around here. My name is Atari, and until next time, remember, it's okay. It's just a prototype. Tally-ho, y'all.